Is it the right time to buy or sell Vivo's therapeutic stock? In this video, we're going to dive deep into Vivo's therapeutics and provide you with a more detailed analysis. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, November 30, 2023. Now, we're here to give you all the information you need to make an informed decision. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Don't miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. To enhance your trading decisions, try our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. On November 1, 2023, our system identified Vivo's Therapeutics as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.15. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. If you had followed our analysis, you would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 624.85% since we first listed Vivo's Therapeutics as a buy candidate 21 days ago. This means an average return of 29.75% per day since it was identified as a buy candidate. The stock is currently in the midst of a strong upward trend, indicating further potential growth. Over the next three months, there is a projected 32.7% change in the stock's value, with possible returns ranging from minus 77.67% to 122.94%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is an expected 6.48% change in the stock's value, with potential returns ranging from minus 97.83% to 78.24%. This translates to a price range of $0.531 to $43.67 after a year. In today's update on Vivo's Therapeutics, we have some interesting news. The stock price experienced significant movement on Thursday, with a 43.84% fluctuation between its high and low points. On the last trading day, which was Thursday, the 30th of November 2023, the stock price of Vivo's Therapeutics Incorporated decreased by 40.24%, dropping from $41 to $24.50. Throughout the day, the stock had a range of $21.90 to $31.50, showing a 43.84% fluctuation. It's worth noting that the price has increased in 7 out of the last 10 days and has seen a remarkable growth of 536.36% over the past two weeks. Interestingly, the trading volume decreased along with the stock, which can actually be seen as a positive sign as the volume should follow the stock. The trading volume reduced by 41 million shares on the last day, with a total of 5 million shares being bought and sold for approximately $133.36 million. Looking at the bigger picture, over the past 52 weeks, the highest price the stock reached was $48.79, while the lowest price was $0.180. At the moment, the stock price is 49.78% or $24.29 below its 52-week high of $48.79, which also happens to be the all-time high for this stock. Analysts have given Vivo's therapeutic stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong sell rating. Let's take a look at the signals for Vivo's therapeutics. The Vivo's Therapeutics Incorporated stock has received by signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive outlook. Additionally, the short-term average is above the long-term average, further confirming a buy signal. In case of any downward corrections, the stock is expected to find support at $12.46 and $4.32. However, if the stock breaks below these levels, sell signals may be issued. On the other hand, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, has also issued a buy signal. It's important to note that some negative signals have also been observed, which could impact the short-term development of the stock. A sell signal was triggered by a pivot top point on Wednesday, November 29, 2023, resulting in a decline of minus 40.24% so far. It is anticipated that the stock may continue to fall until a new bottom pivot is established. 
Additionally, the decrease in volume along with the price indicates reduced overall risk, as volume tends to follow price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence signal, which indicates a buy signal. Next, we have the pivot signal, which suggests a sell signal two days ago. The Bollinger signal, on the other hand, shows a buy signal 49 days ago. In terms of the short-term moving average, it gave a sell signal 7 days ago. Conversely, the long-term moving average provided a buy signal 42 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 39 days ago. If we take a look at the 12-month chart, we can observe the following. The short moving average gave a sell signal 28 days ago. Conversely, the long-term moving average provided a buy signal 25 days ago. Additionally, the relation between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 25 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you're interested in discovering more signals. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Vivo's Therapeutics. Currently, there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that if the right conditions are met, the stock may not perform well in the next couple of days. It's important to be aware of this potential risk. This stock is known for its high volatility, meaning it can experience significant price movements during the day. In fact, the Bollinger Band indicates a wide prediction interval, classifying this stock as very high risk. Looking at the recent data, we can see that in the last day, the stock had a price range of $9.60 between its high and low, representing a 43.84% difference. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 94.17%. Before we explore potential trading levels for Vivo's Therapeutics, let's quickly review some important fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. It's not unusual for established companies to face temporary setbacks due to external factors. However, consistently negative P-E ratios could indicate inadequate profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for March 28, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this period are at minus $2.06. It's important to closely monitor these figures, as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, we'll be looking at potential day trading levels for Vivo's Therapeutics. When analyzing the accumulated volume, we can see that there's no significant resistance above. This suggests that if the right conditions are met, the stock could experience a swift upward movement. If you're considering entering a position, it's advisable to closely monitor the volume and use it as a determining factor for your exit strategy. On the other hand, there's no significant support from accumulated volume below. This means that under certain conditions, the stock could potentially drop sharply. If you're not an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations, it's wise to proceed with caution. Consider placing bets only if you have the necessary skills and expertise to handle the potential risks. The combined average rating for Vivo's therapeutics from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. One of the key insiders, Huntsman Ronald Kirk, has made five trades, buying and selling a total of 39,021 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 47 most recent insider trades, we've calculated a positive insider power ratio of 78.120. In these trades, insiders purchased a total of 2,181,192 shares and sold zero shares. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $23.12, which represents a decrease of 5.62%. This particular stock experiences significant daily movements, making it inherently risky to invest in. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that was detected just one day ago.
Is Vivo's Therapeutic Stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, we believe that Vivo's Therapeutics Incorporated stock may present a buying opportunity in the short term. Several positive short-term signals, along with a general upward trend, support this conclusion. Therefore, we have upgraded our evaluation from a hold-slash-accumulate to a buy candidate. Furthermore, our systems indicate that the current price of Vivo's Therapeutics is undervalued, considering the volatility and movements observed in the last trading day. Looking ahead to Friday, December 1st, we anticipate that Vivo's Therapeutics will open up $1.47 and begin trading at $25.97. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we'll be discussing our current view on this stock. We're eager to hear your thoughts, so make sure to comment below and share your opinions. What target do you have in mind for this stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest, we wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day.